got ourselves a fusion gun here. We're going to strip it down to the side seals. Uh, we're going to check the check valves and I'm going to show you how to drill the mixing chamber properly. Uh, you want to loosen off uh, your air cap here so you just crack that guy open. Loosen her right off. Comes out just like that. Now you got this front cover that holds your side seals in. You unthread that. Just like that. And it shows you your two side seals. Your A side seal and your your B side seal. Now the A one's labeled A. I'm, I'm sure you've seen that. Everything on the A side is labeled A. Uh, so we're going to pull these out. You just use a little flathead screwdriver. Pry the side seal right out. Just like that. So the side seal when it's working properly this insert here, this tiny part here is an insert, pops in and out. That should spring up and down nicely if you just squish it with your hand. Now to pull that out, you just use a little pair of pliers, put on the side, and pop it out. There's an O-ring on there, just right there, an O-ring. And then inside here, there's a little spring. Now all the gunk's going to build up on this spring and in the bottom of this cartridge here. So you're going to want to make sure that all that stuff's spotless. And then you also want to make sure that O-ring is good on that little side seal. So it's not good, it's going to start leaking fluid by and crossing over your gun. You also have your two O-rings on the side here. Um, put it back together, it's the exact opposite. You just pop your spring back in, put some grease on your O-ring, and just pop this in with your thumb. And it should spring up and down nice and freely. Now that's, that's your side seals. Make sure that there's nothing in there at all on that spring. Nice and clean. Make sure all these holes on the side here are open. No, no clogs anywhere. Also make sure that that hole there is open with no clogs. And uh, that's the side seal. Now that your uh, side seals are clean there, that you got your A and your B cleaned. On your gun here you got your, your A and your B side check valve. But uh, you pop them out on the side. Right there with a little flathead screwdriver pops right out. So you got your, this is your check valve, it's got the, the, the ball on the bottom, spring loaded with your set screw on top. Now that's your filter. To make sure the filter is clean you have to pull it right off because all the stuff is going to be trapped on the inside of the filter. So you slide it off. And you're going to have to rinse it out from the inside. So you're going to have to rinse this, blow it out with compressed air, whatever you got. Rinse the inside of the filter, make sure that's nice and clean. But this is the set screw. Now I can tighten all the way down. If it's tightened down like that, and it's not the same as the other check valve, your pressure will be unbalanced. So what you do is you just make sure it's nice and flush with the top on both sides. So it's going to have equal pressure. So just make sure that part's nice and clean. You clean it from the inside out of the filter and that screw is flush on top. Uh, you'll do the same exact thing to your B side and uh, that's it for the check valves. Now that you got your side seals and your check valves all clean, we're gonna take the front fluid section of the gun off and uh, make sure your mixing chamber is drilled properly. So to do that, we just unthread it right here, the big collar, threads like that. slides right off. Now that's the whole fluid section of the gun there. Um, in the fluid section of the gun, it's going to be hard to see in this video here, but there is two little passages inside here. One on your A side and one on the B side. And those passages flow from your check valve in up here out. So you're going to want to take uh, a little brush. You should have a cleaning kit with little brushes. You can clean that little passageway out. And make sure you clean both sides. That's uh, going to cause some pressure and balance problems as well. So if you look, um, let's see if you can see there, right down there, off point here with the drill bit here, uh, right, right, right in there, there's a little passageway. You can see it coming through the other side here, right like that. You want to make sure those passageways are clear. There's only two of them, one on A, one on the B. Make sure that's uh, nice and clear. Now uh, there's the mixing chamber here. You just pop that guy out, give it a little wipe down here, it's covered in grease. And then uh, to drill your mixing chamber out, 
you do uh, you do this guy on the front, the nozzle. You just drill it out. Make sure it's nice and smooth when you're going in and out. Don't press too hard; it'll break the bit. Then also on the mixing chamber, you're just gonna use a smaller size drill bit, but you got a, your side port hole right there, and on the other side right there. So you want to do the same thing. Just be nice and careful when you're drilling them out. It um, it can build up on either side, and uh, also cause pressure and balance problems. So make sure that's all uh, nice and clear. Blow it up with some air, uh, grease it all, and put it all back together. And uh, that, if you do all those steps, everything looks nice and clean. You won't have any, shouldn't have any pressure problems whatsoever.